Hi, my name is Yaroslav. Thanks for watching. If you found this particular screencast on the internet and you're not aware of my blog, uh, be sure to visit sharematch.com and click on screencasts here uh, to see other videos which are, which are potentially related to what you're working on. Also, if you're working on branding um, and found this particular screencast useful, be sure to check out my uh, new book titled uh, SharePoint 2010 Branding and Practice, uh, where there's plenty of scenarios like the one that we're talking about here. In this particular example, we're going to take a look at how we could uh, provision a master page and uh, a cascading style sheet to our uh, to our portal uh, use, using a publishing site template and the portal will be hosted online so it's not going to be hosted on premises so obviously there are some rules that we have to follow and we're going to take a look at those so you're looking at the Visual Studio uh, uh, solution that I have and I have a couple of features here one of them is called provision a uh, master page in CSS and one of them is set style and here I have the uh, uh, the master pages and the mass uh, and the uh, CSS file the module those are just regular Visual Studio modules and all they're going to do they're going to provision this particular Yaroslav.master into the underscore catalog dot master pages uh, library with the with obviously properties and the uh, and some of the description. So that's for master page mo module. This is the actual master page which is just a copy of the v4 master that's available in, in SharePoint. I'll, I'll show you how to take a copy of that particular uh, file. So it's just the file is as is and I added a bit of the text here uh, that I can you know make sure that uh, here's this is actually the master page that I want. In your current production uh, scenario you're probably gonna put some additional um, additional controls, something that's particular to your master page, so some of your own images and stuff. So this is our portal here and I'm just gonna go and uh, show you where uh, you can take an existing version of the master page. As you can see um, the one that I've used is v4 master and uh, the one that's the site is using right now is uh, uh, night and day dot master. So uh, basically the copy is right here and uh, let's take a look at the uh, uh, CSS portion. So the module, this particular module just uh, drops the CSS file right into the style library um, on, on our site and uh, basically the file name is style.css with the, with the title. The CSS file itself is pretty basic. There's just uh, some, um, some margin and color set for the for the body. Obviously in your production scenario you're going to have a little bit more complex uh, master page uh, or sorry the uh, CSS file. So let's take a look at what's the end goal here. The end goal is when we go to the look and feel master page um, section of the site we would like to see the uh, the master page, the site master page uh, property to be set to our custom master page and our CSS file to be set to our current, uh, new CSS file. So let's take a look at how that's going to be achieved. Um, first, uh, the provision master page CSS. This is the feature that provisions uh, both of our CSS and master page. It's a web feature, web scoped feature, and all it does is just provisions the file into the, into the site. Um, the set style uh, feature doesn't provision anything, it's just a, a feature that has a receiver and the receiver basically sets the alternative CSS to our custom CSS as well as the master URL uh, to our custom master URL and as well as uh, when the feature is deactivated we just reset the master page back. So that's, that's the idea. So the idea is that provision uh, master feature is going to provision the uh, uh, all the necessary artifacts and the um, the uh, activation feature for this or activate routine for the set style feature is gonna uh, set those properties so if we'll take a look at the properties of the project uh, just to be clear again this is the, we're running a, as a sandbox solution right so our sandbox solution is set to true that means that uh, this particular package can be executed as a sandbox um, and not as a farm hosted solution. So as, you're, as you know there, there are some restrictions that you can that um, are particular to sandbox solutions. So I'm going to create a I'm going to create the um, WSP package in this case I'm just going to run the deploy command and it'll generate the WSP package for me and uh, I'm going to get a hold of the package and uh, deploy it to our uh, to our SharePoint uh, 
site, which is a sandbox site. So I'm just going to go to site settings, solutions, and just drop a new solution here, the one that was just generated. And uh, here's my SharePoint Project 2 solution. It'll offer me to activate it. I'll activate it right here. So at this point, um, everything is, uh, all of the features are provisioned to the site and the solution is activated. So all I need to do right now is just to activate my features. Uh, and uh, first the provisioning feature and then the, the main feature. So this is how my site looks right now. Um, there's AdventureWorks st standard with double logo type of a, a master page and I'm going to replace it with, with V4 master with some of my own CSS. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, activate those two features. So I'm going to go to site, act, uh, site, uh, site features. And first I'm going to activate the provisioning feature to provision all the necessary artifacts. And it's done. And then next I'm going to activate the set style. Well, set style and master page in our case. So I'm going to activate that. And now I'm just going to verify that all of my properties have been set to the proper uh, values. So I'm going to go to the master page uh, settings under look and feel again. And uh, yes, so my CSS has been set to CSS, uh, that I, my custom CSS and the master page it's, it's as well. So when I go back to my site, um, here's my, my site, uh, right? The publishing demo with a V4 master. There isn't uh, AdventureWorks branding anymore here. And uh, also there is a bit of a text here on the bottom identifying that this is my custom master page. Obviously you don't see a lot of a CSS changes here, but my CSS file has been applied. So hopefully this demonstrates that even though we're using a cloud-hosted ho cloud um, SharePoint implementation, so not on-premises, we're still able to pretty much customize anything in terms of the master page and put our own UI elements as well as the uh, style on our, on our site.